Is it not there? Oh, there should be one there. Should say Saturdays. Sometimes? I don't know, I just have it in there. I go past it or some days it's shorter. Because I think Transformers the one night it was like an hour and a half. No, that was... <laughs> Not you. <laughs> yes. All right, it is eight o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we are playing Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. Uh, should play a little like Dynasty Warriors, if I remember right. Uh huh. There is a man in the suit. <laughs> uh, and with that, I guess we will uh, get started. <coughs> Kitty kitty? I don't know, there might be. Kitty kitty! No, I, well. Tech. Yes, I rotated myself. Yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, no, no full sending and no permadeath. That, that is kind of how Fire Emblem works, but we're not doing that, because, you know. Oh, because it's a different camera. Well, yeah, I don't feel like... Audio coming through, okay? Stream. All this bloodshed. Will it never come to an end? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is the game audio coming through though too? Yeah, because I have it. I think it has to be, uh, whatever, affiliate or whatever to get 1080. Hello? Where is that freeloader, huh? Yeah. Uh, a lot. I know you're napping around here somewhere. Yeah, it's like you have to have On your 50 feet followers, you have already, to stream yeah? X amount of hours a day, and you have to have, like, consistently, like, 15 viewers. So, eh. I know. Oh, and finally. I have like Come five on, sunshine. To Up and at him. Uh, 
Yeah, totally. Hey, get up already! Ugh, oh. I'm sorry. What's going on? Life was us. What's going on? Did your head spring a leak <laughs> while you were napping? <laughs> Better see if you can even remember your name. Shaz. Ah. Uh... Randolph, <laughs> Randolph the beige. Well, looks like there's hope for you yet. You sack That's of a big butts. word. I don't. I'm just resting up for the that. battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the battle's on our doorstep, so you're lucky I like you enough to wake you. You heard who we're up against, yeah? Gerald's mercenaries. Gonna be one hell of a fight, if true. Especially if the Ashen Demon. Leave it to you to fumble the details. <laughs> did you even catch this Ashen Demon's name? Of course uh, I did. It was. I... <sighs> By the goddess, it's right on the tip of my tongue. That's what he said. Yeah, Termode. Wait, I get a demon form? There. Are we content now? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Demon or no demon, our job is to fight and win. <laughs> you sound just like the captain. I know they paid up front, but come on. Well, at least one of you has some courage. You've certainly come a long way since I plucked you from that mountain village. But this battle is about more than just victory. Gerald's team has a sterling reputation. Rumor, but once we put them to rout, We'll finally be the greatest mercenaries in all of Leicester. Enemy activity detected, Captain. Looks like we'll be fighting by moonlight. Wasn't expecting a fight so soon, but I guess there's nothing for it. You ready? When this is over, we'll all greet the new dawn together. Do not abuse. Do not abuse the admin powers. It's for moderation, in case Jake isn't here. <laughs> you sure are a cocky little thing. But yeah, all right. I'll be there. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's get down to business. We're up against Gerald's mercenaries. Ha ha! 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 Ah, you're fine. Let's move out. You already got that. So you get Run nothing. <laughs> Time to see what you're made of. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. not putting up much of a fight. Are these guys new recruits or something? I guess this means I can mess with them a little. Charge! Don't worry about it. That's that. I eat steak tougher than this. Hey, you! Clear out that group over there! Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh! 
Oh, they give you a dodge button now. Wow! against Burling's mercenaries. Oh, that's right. Now, isn't this a sight? You must be the infamous Ashen Demon. I can't wait to tear you apart. This will be the end of the Ashen Demon. No one can beat the captain. Yeah, right. What? Captain? Storm fights me. They took out Lazlin like she was nothing. Darn! I can't believe I'm losing to some damn kid! This is why we didn't do permanent. Captain Burley's in trouble. I have to reach her before it's too late. I'm trying to get there, my guy. There's so many of them. Only one thing to do about that. Suddenly, there's a bunch of people here. I'm alright. Just 
when my dream was finally in sight. You monster. You are correct, Matthew. The captain's dead. What are we gonna do now? Or die. Yeah. We're gonna stand, we're gonna fight, and we're gonna avenge Ow. the captain. Yeah. Did you not get wrong today? Why am I so scared? It's just one murder. Boy. Run! Run while you can! That's no! Yeah. This can't be happening! He got hilt punched. Violent. Blacked out. Huh? The cycle of this world. I will not allow it to perish with you. He was super sad. <laughs> you get that power? No idea. But it's just what I need to bring you down. We're here to help. I can make it. Hey, that temporarily fell back. Oh boy. I need to kill more people. Interesting. You're fighting like an entirely different person. But I mean, he's hurt. He's violent. That's enough. We did what we came to. Everyone, fall back. What? Ah. Sorry, but this fight is over. Hey, wait. Why? We've achieved our goal. Your job was to stop us, and you failed. <laughs> Yo, what are you gonna Another do? Stab her in the perhaps. back? Hey, we're not done here. <clears throat> wait, why am I so sleepy? So tired. Oh, just like a Saiyan. Use all your energy. Now you're tired. Looks like the astral play. Oh, good. You're awake. Not sure I would have been able to sleep at night with your <laughs> blood on my hands. That's not creepy. Yeah. Who are you? Ha! Now that is a tricky question. 
Uh, for the moment, why don't you call me Arval? Arval? Arval, okay. huh? But for now, let me speak plain. You are slated to die. Me! Right now, I'm the only thing holding your meager life together. And to be blunt, it's beginning to tire me. Um, thank you? Oh, oh my. That's the first time anyone has ever shown me gratitude. And I must say, I like it very much. That's gratitude! Hear me well. You are a crucial piece of this world's cyclical... Yeah, uh... But oh, this will never like do. Doors. You're far too groggy to absorb what I'm saying. <laughs> For now, I needn't tell you how you'll get back on your I feet. Can't... I need only convince you that you will. <laughs> you. Well, I don't understand. I'm already up no, and about. he said closet, not cave explorer. Ah, perhaps here you are, but not in reality, where it counts. <laughs> your cluelessness is actually quite charming. I think you're starting to grow on me. Still, the important thing is what you do after you wake. Ah, uh, so you're telling me I'm not supposed to become a mass murderer, And what right? should that be? Recall, please, how the Ashen Demon bested you came within an inch of snuffing out your life. If you attempt the fight again the same way, you will reach the same conclusion. That sounds like Groundhog's Day with extra steps and more murder. This would force me to step in once more, which would be most annoying and also rather counterproductive, if I'm honest. Then I'll get stronger. The man I am now will seem like a little kid in comparison. And one day, I will surpass the Ashen Demon. I swear it. Indeed. My captain and comrades are dead. The company is finished. So, there's only one thing I can do. Start over. Huh. I thought you'd be more sentimental. Did they not take you in? Care for you? Well, gold's the only thing that ever held us together. And death is something we're all too used to. Like Mr. Krabs, I like money. I never knew my real parents, and I lost the mother who raised me. Partings just come easy to me, I guess. The best way to honor my fallen comrades is by training hard and growing even stronger. Then I'll crush Gerald's mercenaries and the Ashen Demon with them. That's what I'm going to live for now. Oh, but I like your spirit. Though I expected no less from my partner in destiny. I'm sorry, what? Yes, I suppose that was a bit sudden. I should remember, take intimacy in smaller steps. Thank you. The point is that I'm here to guide you, and I <laughs> promise to help you find no. the strength to see your dreams realized. I can get one of the little kiddie pools to put my feet in at the bottom of the... Prologue. A chance encounter. I mean, I'm a or something. I don't know. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a goddess, has existed for uncountable ages. Well, if they're uncountable, now, how do you know it's been ages? Powers control that the seems land. counterintuitive to me. To the south is a region held for more than a thousand years by the Adrestian Empire. To the north is the holy kingdom of Fargus ruled by the royal Holy family and its knights. And to the east, a league of nobles that bends no knee rules the Leicester Alliance. Though once consumed in war, these three powers now exist in relative harmony. Nestled between them is Garrick Mach Monastery, seat of the Church of Saros, the land's widely practiced faith and a power that helps to maintain peace across the continent. Not far from the monastery, at the northern edge of the empire, is a small village called Ramire, and west of this place stretches a forest where a lone mercenary awaits. Is that me? I think it's me.
Ugh. Hey, wake up! No! Ugh. How many times must we do this? Get up already! How many times since I feel like we must do this? Huh? That's weird. I could have sworn I heard someone calling me. It's still dark out, though. Hello? Yes, I was calling you. Many times, I might add. Yes. <sighs> Come on, I told you not to sneak up on me like that. As if I have a choice. Do you know how many times you would have died by now if not oh. for me? I'll tell you. 22. Wow. You suck. The three times you leapt off a cliff to quote unquote get tougher saved you. Those five mad attempts to dispatch a horde of this monsters by yourself saved hell. you. And tonight, despite my repeated warnings, you took the wrong path and ended up having to sleep on a bed of leaves in the middle of the woods. You're right. This was all my fault, and I'm sorry. Strange. That's exactly what I wanted to hear, yet somehow I'm the one who feels bad now. I must remember this tactic. At any rate, we all make a few mistakes along the way. And by we, I mean you. And by a few, I mean far, far more than average. Now then, with that Emotional out of the way, damage! You like to know why I've roused you from your mud cake slumber? He just you retarded. Actually, it's probably easier to show rather than tell at this point. Look over there, if you would. Hmm? Stop plowing ahead, Claude. You're going to get us lost. Ooh, there we go, it's just the three people. Lost, schmast. We've got it on Imperial authority that this is the way to the village. <sighs> True, I said there was a village, but how could anyone know where it is hey, in the thick guard. of these mountains? I can't even say for certain where we are in all this gloom. Okay, new plan. I'll rely on my keen senses to navigate. Lucky for you, they're sharp as an arrow. Hold, both of you. Someone's here. They're mistaking you for some common back... Hold on there. I'm no bandit. I'm a mercenary. Well, that makes everything better. A bandit would be far less out of place in these woods than a sellsword. We've no time for an interrogation. Our... I don't know who you people are or what you want. You clearly need every blade you can find, and my pockets have been feeling... Strong against axes. What am I weak against? <sighs> Probably arrows. That it seems to be, you know, a thing. Well, Shush. since you're here, do you mind oh, stepping in and helping us chase off these scary bandits? Don't worry about payment. You'll receive plenty of coin. If we survive this. Now I am a flugel. How did I do that? What did I do? I can still Yay! I win. Resources. I got material! I want an axe. Well, 
I suppose my turn is wrong. You like this? Allow anyone to stop me. Take a breather. Nope. You make me go. feel bad for the enemy. You like that? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> Apologies, but it was you or me. Just who are these people anyway? All three of them have crests. Uh, What's wrong with you? They're dirty. just a bunch of brats! Stop embarrassing yourself and stand your ground already! Oh boy, it's a dragon! Is it claw time? Neat. I think it's claw time. Strategy, but I'm not really used to being on the front lines. No problem, I got it. There. Hey, you got lucky there. Well, lucky for me, I guess. Not so much for you. Bandits have a firm hold on the central road. It would be wise to move through the forest and take down the strongholds as we go. Oh. Try and keep an eye on who we're fighting, and make sure we've got the right person leading the charge at the right time. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Take a breather. Takes care of that. Yeah. Die. What shoddy defense! We'll be done before we know it. They're all like this. Be sure to tend to your wounds, Edelgard. Yeah. We'll make good use of this. Battle to unravel their defenses. Thugs does this guy have working for him anyway? He's got some shiny armor. Repent, foul bandits. The Knights of Seros are here, and we'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. This battle is practically won if the Knights have arrived. The Knights of Saros! Not now! I don't kill at least one of them, friends! I'm finished! 
to rush our position. to perish here. I'm afraid we must spare no mercy for you. Never should have taken this job. Yes. Is it over? Myself stop here. Oh, you got a PD. Half a level of You're seriously the Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance? Yes. And as the three of us are now in your debt, I think formal introductions are in order. My name is Edelgard von Hressbelk, Princess of the Adrestian Empire. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And I'm Claude Von Regan, grandson of the leader of the Lester of... Things looked grim there for a moment. Thanks to you, we put those bandits to flight. Bit of a miracle we ran into you out there, but hey, I'll take it. Correct. There is no explicit. Hey, I only fought well because I had such fine companions by my side. There may be some truth to that. I can't shake the feeling that we were destined to meet somehow. Aren't they an unlikely trio? I wonder why those bandits were after them. Still, it's no concern of ours. We have our own plans to attend to. Now, collect your pay and be off before they- Say, while I have you here, do you know where I can find Remire Village? I took a wrong turn somewhere along the way. 
I'm looking for a band of hardened mercenaries who follow a man named Gerald. I hear rumors that... Actually, Remeyer might just be the village we've been looking for, too. Did that ring a bell, Edelgard? I don't remember hearing anything about Mercs, but... The name sounds correct, at least. <sighs> Gerald's too smart to get smoked out by a bunch of rumors, but they're all I've got at the moment. In any case, we won't find our own two feet in all this. Hello there, house leaders. Hello, brave mercenary. We've mopped up what's left of those rascals. So what say we return to camp? And I insist you accompany us, good mercenary. Oh, boy. Who? Me? You heard the man. We'll wait out the night together and make... It's a great plan, especially if you want to get paid, as we're a tiny bitch. Yes. And those mercenaries you're looking for? Gerald, they may be in Ramaya village tonight. If you come back to our camp, we have maps that may... This is clearly the wisest course of action. Not to mention that I would enjoy conversing with you further. But of course, the choice is yours. Ugh, why can't things ever be simple? All right, no, but just for the night. Perfect. Then might I borrow you for a moment? There's a matter we must speak about. Nothing alarming, a I promise matter. you. But it is right alarming. then, so off we go. But, um, if I may, did I hear you mention a Gerald earlier? Yes, do you know him? He heads up a pretty elite band of mercenaries, so I imagine his name is spread all over Fodland by now. Mercenaries, is it? No. No, it can't be him. Can it? Well, I'll just have to meet this Gerald myself. After I've seen my duties through, of course. After all, if I don't finish my assigned tasks, I'm mission the point. Ugh, bad joke. Get it? Missing? Mission? Come now, this is good stuff! <laughs> That's our Eloise. Come on, let's get moving before he really gets going. I get to walk around and talk to people now. Yay! Hey! <sighs> if I'm honest. That's concerning. What say you? Is you huh? Speaking of, how's that? Have you met him yet? At first, I thought he was real serious and persnickety. But that image shattered pretty quick once I noticed him chatting up every girl in the monastery. Have you met him yet? At first, but that image shattered... Hilda's the only daughter of Duke Goneril. 
seems like she had a pretty cushy life growing up, which means she's gotten into the habit of slacking off and making other people do things for her. He's a pretty friendly guy, though it'd be nice if he talked about something other than muscles. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Don't ever treat her like a child. I made that mistake earlier and she nearly took my head off. But she's clearly the youngest out of this year's students, so I don't get what the big... Ignatz likes the great outdoors. Definitely more than the rest of us, anyway. He's the second son of a merchant family, but says he wants to be a knight. He doesn't... Oh, Marianne? She's Margrave Edmund's daughter, but that's all I know about her. She doesn't interact with the other students at all. Leone wants to be a mercenary. I bet you you're both pretty frank, too. I just hope you're not as obsessed with saving money as she is. much difficulty yeah I don't know thank you what do you think Another matter. Well, you're certainly not timid. 
You do realize you're addressing the heir to the Imperial Throne, yes? Sure. You're another Still, person. Still, I suppose I admire that sort of freedom. It must be nice not to have your lot in life decided for you. Hubert of House Bestre is my attendant. His family is unusual in that they're noble but lack territory of their own. Oh, Hubert man. is deeply loyal to me, and you can trust him completely. In fact, I... Oh. That's Dorothea Arnold. She's an up-and-coming songstress in a famous Imperial Opera Company, or she was, at least. For some reason, she abandoned her musical career and enrolled in the Officer's Academy. She has a very magnetic personality, which I'm sure you'll see. Yes, I'm sure it's her personality. <laughs> Have you spoken with Ferdinand? One conversation will explain him far better than I can. He's the heir to an influential house, which drives him to excel. But he can be quite the handful sometimes. One of our classmates usually stays holed up in the dormitory instead of coming on these assignments. Her name is Bernadetta. If you bump into her, don't be surprised if she screams and runs away. That's sort of her thing. Eh, sounds like Toto. We all know you get bumped into and scared. And Kaspar is the second born son of a great and noble house. But as he's not the heir, you war and fighting are his sole pursuits. So I bet the Petra isn't from the Empire. She's the granddaughter of the King of Bridget, which is an archipelago situated off our western coast. You'll find her a quick study, a gifted fighter, and endlessly curious. But always come prepared to talk, That's because she'll strategist. definitely want to pick your brain. I don't know what that means. Surely you know someone like Linhart. He's as bright as they come, yet just as lazy as well. That's simply how he is, though. I can't force him to apply himself, but he'll come around, most likely. Unlikely. I like how they're all just off hiding. Oh, it's you. Okay, then just scam. That doesn't look like a car, it looks like a person. Let's see. <laughs> the thing is... Oh, it's you. My thanks. Right on. Or make me oh, Thanks. I appreciate it. Column A, little column B. Can we speak a moment? Hmm. <laughs> Not good. Oh. You have my the blue lions. Speaking of which. <laughs> By the way, money, money, how money, about money! this? <laughs> Your interest flatters me, but I'm afraid I find myself unsure of where to begin. 
Perhaps I'll have thought of a topic when next we speak. Well, my time. Dudu hails from the land of Dusker. He tends to keep to himself. But he possesses one of the kindest hearts of anyone I know. Fast. I'm proud to call him my... Felix is the son of Duke Fraldarius. He has a sh he has always admired strength above all else. I'm sure there's a motor boat or I only first met her here at the academy. She seems a gentle soul with great inner strength. From what I understand, she has traveled. F In the far south of Fargus lies a manor by the name of Castle Gaspar. Ah, he's an honest boy, well deserving of our trust. I'd like to get to know him. Annette is the hardest worker in the entirety of the Blue Lion House. She is truly brilliant. Tactical Ray of Sunshine. I could stand Please to learn from her single-minded devotion, if only a little. Sylvain is the son of Margrave Gautier. You may have already noticed, but he's something of a womanizer. That womanizer being may be but putting lightly. it lightly, in fact. But despite his apparent indifference, he possesses great cunning and is quicker on his feet than anyone else. Dang. Ingrid is the daughter of Count Galatea, and she is far more gallant than your run of the mill knight. She has ever been straight laced and diligent, even when we were but children. It is. Concerning, if I'm honest, I guess I'll listen to you, even though you have bad dad jokes. My sincere apologies for asking this of you. I know you're heading for Ramire Village in order to find Gerald's mercenaries, but what's the but? Well, perhaps you might consider changing your mind and accompanying us to Garagmach Monastery instead. And why would I do that, exactly? Because you've done us a great service, and we don't have the means in camp to properly reward you. At the monastery, however, we can repay your kindness in full. Also, between you and me, this evening's turn of events was quite the embarrassment for the church. We allowed students of the Officer's Academy out of our sight, and house leaders of great political consequence at that. Ah, so you screwed up and you want me to help and with that. And then they cross swords with bandits. If word got out... So you want well, me to help you do your job. Lunch. Sit poorly with everyone. I gotta. So you see why we must ensure you are well compensated. Also, there may be some papers for you to sign. This sounds more like hush money than a reward. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I told the fool knight who suggested it. Me, i just as soon send you on your way, but... I fear I'm... Anyway, the whole thing will be much easier if you simply agree... I think that was a threat. And here I thought he was a big softie. Well, what do you think? Garrick Mock is in the opposite direction of... I like how even the choice is you either go on your own volition or just... Yeah, fuck it. Well, I guess I'm not opposed to helping out a little more. I'll come with you to the monastery, but I'm not... Bless you, my friend. What a noble soul you are. I'd say you saved my bacon, but that would be oh utterly Oh, God, handy. no more dad jokes. Stop! Alois, has anyone ever told you that you're... Don't. Some truths are simply too painful to bear. While I'm no expert, I fear the poor man's heart... Hmm? Told me what? Uh, told you how dashing you are in that armor. Not just any man could pull off that look. Ah, you like it? Wonderful. I admit, I've received no small share of positive comments on it. There's a grand story behind every last ding and dent. Enough to keep me talking for a week. Why, take this one here. We heard you'll be joining us at Garrick Mock. Perhaps somewhat unwillingly, I might add? So they know I was threatened again. I know this wasn't in your plans, How but if it lets that. us get to know each other better, perhaps it will prove worth it in the end. If I didn't know any better, I think she's coming on to me. 
Unwilling or not, we've got a long road ahead. So let's try to keep the mood light. I hesitate to ask this considering you... Well, are you sure about this decision? The knights may seem unwilling to bend, but it's not as if you have no say in the matter. Actually, I see this as just another chance to better myself. You are more gracious than I. But as I... Yes, yes, that's quite enough chatter. Let's save our energy for the road. To the monastery! Listen, I know this one's on me. I'm the one who roped you into coming back to camp after all. But I'll find a way to make it up to you, I promise. Except food, money, money, and alcohol. Thanks, Claude. I know you will. Hey! Hurry up back there or we'll leave you behind! I like money. You know you've had a busy day when you rub shoulders with the heirs to the Empire, the Kingdom, and the Alliance. Did he poof? I think they're a fascinating the Irish group of people just himself, open the heck out. what do you make of them? Well, it seems like Edelgard thinks high enough of me. She's got this elegant air about her, but... It feels like Dimitri's always checking in on me, every chance he gets. He'll definitely make a good king. The kind who looks after his people. Claude's a laid-back kind of guy who doesn't really strike me as noble, and I mean that in a good way. Something tells me he's gonna be easy to work with. <laughs> of course you only pick up on their rosy qualities. You really are a delight. Have I told you- Still, you better pick up the pace before you vex these people any further. Prologue. And in doubt, scary houses. Oh, and a prologue. Though. Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths, each a student at Gehrig Mach's Officers Academy and a leader of one of the school's three houses. Striking down the bandit chief who attacked the students brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Gehrig Mach. And with that, may I present the mercenary I spoke of. Greetings. My name is Rhea, and I am the Archbishop of the Church of Seros. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing our students. If you had people that were more competent... I'm just glad I could help. Such modesty is not required around me. However, the reason we summoned you here was not simply to express our gratitude. We have a proposal for you. One made oh on boy, the church, the church wants itself. to hire me. What kind of proposal? Someone told you of the officer's academy here at the monastery. I will yes? not become a student. We would have you join this academy as a student. You what? No, no. School is for fools. Look at me. Though you are a mercenary. I understand you are not currently beholden to any one particular employer. Also, the students you rescued are close to your own age. Your life could be greatly enriched here. But money! Or she's heard about our power and wants to keep us on a short leash. And yet she's taking it almost as a given that we'll accept. I need to get stronger if I'm going to do what I need to. If your fancy school can really make that happen, consider me interested. The Knights of Seros, as well as many other powerful warriors, pass daily through the gates of this hallowed monastery. If strength is what you are after... We They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. All right, I'm in. I have a feeling that you're going to circle back to it. Wise decision. Huh. 
Uh, yeah. We will do all we can to ensure you do not regret it. I believe you will go far. If I may, like hope. permit me to tell you a bit more about the school itself. The academy is divided into three houses and draws in the most promising young talents from every corner of Fodlan. Some are noble-born, while others spring from more humble roots. But within these walls, all are treated as... Why is that man equal. wearing a mask? I'm concerned. I've seen enough Gundam to know that man's got nothing to do and will create war crimes. We ask our prospects to spend a year living under... The Each of our houses corresponds to one of Fodlan's three regions. Edelgard leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Oh no, when you drop a colony on a planet, that's a war crime. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom Holy of Fargus. Kingdom. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House, for students from the Leicester Alliance. We could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, you are something of a special case, after all. So I can join any house I want? Yes, you have simply to name it. Uh, we have lions, eagles, or deer. The oh. deer's out! Yes, well, it's deer. <laughs> oh, deer! But man, this is American. What's our favorite animal? So you eagles, my guy. Eagles, black eagles. <laughs> Are you safe? Exactly. Freedom. Yep, that's the one. <coughs> May you build wonderful and lasting <laughs> friendships in your new house. Life of selection. Maybe that's why I went with the eagles. Well then, Splish splash, your taken care of, trash. it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last minute roster that change. That seems awfully convenient for plot. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. He's even a weapons instructor! That is Shar and Sinobel. He's going to colony drop somebody. He has to. Nice meeting you, uh, sir. Don't load me up with too much homework, all right? <laughs> Do my ears deceive me? Or is that curiosity I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house, hmm? I don't care. You decide. Well, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuela, you and I can take charge of the remaining houses. What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. That sounds dirty. You're like old enough to be the student's mom. The gall of these people making Uh, right. In any case, I'm looking forward to learning from you, Professor Yuritsa. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Yes, yes you did. Each month, every house in the Academy is given a mission entailing some form of service to the Church. Oh, this one? The, uh... Hubert. Prodies and a fail. Ah, yeah. 
ますあ、well? What do you think? I believe there is a very good chance it will work. Well, at least you didn't say halt. Perhaps, Lady Edelgard. But is that chance not outweighed by the danger of matters going awry? We have managed to walk the knife's edge so far. But what you are suggesting is open hostility. If they so much as catch wind of our intentions, things will go sideways very quickly. Regardless, this is our last opportunity to save her. Frankly, it's a miracle we even have the chance. I thought you once proclaimed not to believe in miracles, Lady yeah, Edelgard. And I don't. At least not the kind one has to sit around and wait for. But right now, everyone is exactly where we need them. Her, the bandits, the string pullers, and the perfect instructor with the perfect mission. I smell a plot. I'm going to make this miracle happen, and I will do so for our future. Hmm. Then we'd best have a plan in place to finish the job, in case they catch on. I, I like you to burn a few bridges, but this plan would be akin to setting half the countryside on fire. <laughs> fire, murder, whatever. Which is exactly why I'm counting on you, Hubert, and why I'm grateful to have you by my side. Welcome to the Black Eagle House. I'm pleased you selected us. Whoa, wait, what? You're a student now? Kinda. And not only <coughs> that, you're one of us? That's one great. of us! One of us! Wait, stop! I don't know this person! Oh, why are there so many new faces? Neither's burning down. That's what you get for skipping this year's first field excursion burn. A lot happened. There was even a bandit Bernadette. attack. But they call her Did you really not hear about short, any of this? So. Bandits? Ah! Now I'm extra glad I skipped out. What? I must say, the church took a bold step in enrolling you. A decision which I, of course, Timothy? fully support. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. Asunder? Yeah. Asunder? Looks like... It's like T-S, whatever. It's asunder. The T is like... You help Edelgard, and we stand to learn quite a bit from one so skilled. Yes, I have eagerness there to examine the fighting of mercenaries. all you're going to learn from me. We should be sparring, one versus one. If anyone needs me, I'll be asleep and... Wait, hold on. Do you have a crest? Did Professor Hanneman even check? Oh, he checked all right. Sorry to say I'm certifiably crestless. Strange. You definitely seem the type. But I suppose I'm just imagining it. Crestless? Well, buy some crest. And now you know the rest of our house. As you already met some of us in camp, I assume you knew what you were getting into. We may not be perfect, but we support each other as best we can. Please try. Here approaches Professor Yuritsa. That makes. Remember your mission? We are to eliminate the remaining members of the Iron King's thieves that attacked our camp. The chief, Costas, has already been struck down. And even with our limited experience, we should. Good. Prepare yourself. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Of course, Prof. Oh, he's gone. So it would seem. Right. To tell the professor, I can't. Oh, good work, Bernie. Why didn't you speak up sooner? I know what you mean. I never even got the chance to break out my best. Leave it to me, professor. Oh boy. He's a real tough nut, that's for sure. Says just as much as he has to, and makes tracks. Well? Strength and silence don't always go hand in hand, though. Indeed. Just look at Caspar's father, Count Burgley's. When that man shouts an order, it is so loud that the seas themselves part and the clouds retreat. Whatever the case, I expect all Black Eagles to participate in this mission, including you, Bernadetta. You can do this. And I look forward to seeing our mercenary friend here in action. Oh, I'm not a mercenary anymore. I'm a student, remember? 
Careful, Edelgard. If you set me loose out there, there won't be any bandits left for you. Wait, how does it go from two weeks later? I confused. I'm kerfluffled! There you are, Yuritsa. I have word from the knights. It is time? Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose land in the kingdom. But the knights have cut off their escape and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. Oh, they were waiting for the bandits to gather. Leave at once. I needn't remind what you that this is the first real battle for some of our charge. I trust you will keep them safe. Though I likely do not need to worry with... No, you don't. You there. It's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. Wow. Lost <laughs> sight of them. A shame to admit it, but yes, it's possible someone magic the bandits with away. A K? Why well, go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. That sounds dirty. Right, of course. We'll follow... Wait, what? We're leaving. Everyone, follow me. Does it smell like iron? Professor, then? wait! Well, he must have some idea where the bandits went. Let's hurry after... Pathetic. Professor Yuritsa, you shouldn't charge ahead like that. It's far too dangerous. Wait, what is all this? Blood. <laughs> Bandits! Dead by my hand. Yes, they look quite dead indeed. <laughs> uh, the they are very dead. How is one to tell? One uncouth ruffian looks much the same as any other. Do you know, Professor? Were you following some manner of lead? No, but it's them. They were trying to escape to that fortress. That fortress? Yes, Caspar, that's what he said. Yeah, because, you know, Something fortresses just shame. appear out of frickin' nowhere. Nope. It just seems suspicious. You're something else, Caspar. Still, I guess the place does look kind of suspicious. Suspicious. We're near the border of the kingdom and the empire, but that is no imperial outpost. It's not the kingdoms either, and they're not flying any kind of banner. I'm guessing it's a bandit hideout. Then give us allowance to be storming their base and crushing them under our feet. Ooh, small crushing. It might be a little dangerous for us to handle on our own, Katra. Yes, I mean, I agree. We should all You um, just don't go home like fun. Right now. But the bandits might be inside, and they must answer for their crimes. All of the fun. It is our noble duty to finish them off before Pretty they much. can bring harm to another soul. about nobles it's about doing the right thing period and striking down evil is the caspar way <sighs> we'll be heroes if we manage to right. take out the entire yeah, bandit hopefully. outpost since when are you so gung-ho oh right you know, all get paid to murder Enough. people this is not our decision to make the mission stands enter the fortress Dispatch, there are no yeah, signs of here I go killing Any again! Chasing ghosts. Professor, are you having the ability to speak with ghost spirits? It is just an expression, Petra. It ah, I am understanding now. You have my thanks. This language has much peculiarity some of the times. Well, if that's settled, let us make ready. Make sure you're prepared before we head out. Oh boy, I get to kill people! I can 
Auto battle? Kind of defeats the purpose of the game, doesn't it? Not? Put the bandits to rout. That Follow man's me. on a horse, and that is a big ass horse. That is a huge horse. Hey, we got intruder. Get the guys are pointing a weapon at me. Get ready to pay. Yeah, right. Got that crap out of the stone Violence! Something over here to kill Bill. Though I do wish they had given me time to announce my name. Careful! Do not let the enemies be ganging up on you. Watch this! If I may, I am your man. Take a breather. Oh, I guess we'll go there. And you can have my axe! Bad jokes. Yeah. Fire may cause burning. Thank you, Captain Up. Apparently you hit pots of money. <laughs> but I like breaking pots. I feel no mercy. No, not yet. Now I'm land friendly fire. I'm not letting you pass. My heart depends on you. Now we know who to Ow. To hey, the gate. that's cheating. I hate you. Good Gotta keep aiming higher. Why? Double stagger. No, no. No, no, no. I can right, still keep whacking on you while you're down. No, no. Is that worth the stagger? I'm no, actually just beating you repeatedly in the head with an axe for one of you. I tried to stop him. Let's secure the interior. This place is bigger than I thought. That sounds scary. Okay, who needs to go which way? Split up. I am your man. All of these dead bodies. Yeah. Enough to numb the senses. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got a bow staff. Yeah. Spear. Darn it. Absolutely not, sir. Is that a treasure chest? Mm, yes. It seems we will need a key to it all, but I was all ready to grab a nice haul from that chest. Now those intruders are all over the place. Bandit appears to be holding the key. Yeah. Oh boy. If there's no wife, then it's going to be disappointed. Wait! Tells me where the key's at. I'll just kill this guy. Just steal the key. Not yet. Oh, the staggering. All the staggering. 
Oh, actually, this is working out well. Show me what you got. than it was on the other side. I can't investigate. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. No, no, no. No running away. Oh. Hello, Maria. My friend, I mean, friend of me. And you're all going to die. securing the bandit hideout. Unless something else concerns you, Professor. Search the basement. Something is amiss. Ah, yes, the basement, because, you know... I've got this. I guess we'll just bum rush. She looks like 
and it can't Oh, thanks, an ass and ass and ass and no, 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 it's not bad at all. It's a harvest girl. Huh? Here to rescue me? Lady Edelgard! Monica, how did you. No, my questions can wait. Thank you for saving me. Don't let the girl escape, or Kranya will make us wish. Is that a flag dead. doctor? It's not safe here. We must take the girl and run. My murder? But I want to murder! Oh! Oh. Shit, yep. oh, yeah, that's easy. Oh. We've got a friend in trouble. Whoever they are, they seem to be targeting that student. And it falls upon us to keep her safe, no matter the cost. Stay with her. Hold on. Yeah. You kind of catch back up. Thank you. Let me kill the flag doctor, and this is what I'll do. Just leave me alone already. Here they come. Everyone, protect Monica. There will be no way forward until we strike down these scoundrels. Yeah. Still here. Not a chance to give them a slip. Hey, I got one of them! Woo! I'm not the thieves retreat. The way is clear. Come, we need to hurry. Sorry I'm slowing you down. The world is still a little wobbly at the moment. Dead. They're dead. Sir, how did you just take a whirlwind of the face and do nothing? What an eyesore as they are. Come on. Stagger. I've hit you for a thousand damage. Die already! The way is clean. Come, we need to hurry. Come, we're going this way. Come on. Sir, you were on a horse. Why not do something more useful? Okay, we just need to get her. Ooh! Ooh. I'm running this asshole down. No, no, no. You dead. Okay. We should be safe here. I mean, I hope we are at least. And the best part is, it's gonna hurt the whole time you're dying. I don't care. Let me finish doing what I'm doing. You can just call me. The you look like a knockoff Grim Reaper with a ring in your nose. Don't. Let me finish doing what I'm doing. Kill her. Thank you. I would have never thought that's what I needed to do. Gotta keep aiming higher. They are crumbed. Then it is you who will die this day. Good. He's dead. Good. That's the last of them. Good. Then we can proceed as planned. Have you got any pretty last 
Dagger, dagger. Not that I'm going to pay attention. Yeah. No, she can stay over there. You. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Oh, you're not going anywhere, Monica. I have something very special planned for you. Wait, did I kill her? I did. Oh, you asked for it. Release the creature we captured. Release the Kraken! Oh, that looks interesting. This is going to be trouble. On your thoughts, that. everyone. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I have to armor break. Good to know! You'll never defeat it alone. All the numbers in the world won't save you. Yeah. Here it comes! See ya! You're done! I'm here to aid you. This is unlike any beast I have ever encountered. Oh, goody! It can heal! Hooray! My favorite! beginning to wane. Press the attack! Out of the way! They defeated a demonic beast? Impossible! Talus isn't going yes. to like this at all. And I didn't even unlock this. my no, special pay. ability of Super Saiyan! That snake escaped. But still, Monica is safe, and that's what matters. Ugh. <laughs> Spooderman! I gained another level. I must get stronger. I spelled ass with my battle results. <laughs> That's funny. Well, yeah, because it says the bad word. Oh, that is hilarious. I won't let myself stop here. Will help me break new boundaries. Let's see. Let's... Carpe diem. Ooh. What a fascinating power. Spirited seeds. That sounds horrible. I imagine this will serve me well. I need more strength than this. Fresh air again for as Jeez. long as I lived. <laughs> Spooder man. I'm not sure what to say except thank you, everyone. Yeah, that's what she said. How did you end up in such an awful place, Monica? I heard you went missing in House Ox territory. I did indeed. In fact, I was on the verge of graduation when I was kidnapped by the strangest people. They were plague doctors. Oh, how and this silly is of me not to said. introduce myself. <laughs> I'm Monica Von Ox. 
I'm the eldest child of Baron Ox, and one of your highness's most loyal subjects. Seeing as you saved my life, I plan to devote that very life back to helping your cause. You've not changed at all, though I do appreciate the enthusiasm. Monica was a Black Eagle in last year's class. One might say she's part of the old guard. I'm not sure how I feel about you calling people old. <laughs> That's an old people joke. Hmm, yes. I think I understand. This all began when the Knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing student. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? Because the Knights sent for help after you left them behind. Did you expect anything different? Not that I'm trying to lay blame at your feet. I know you were following Professor Yuritsa's lead, so I <coughs> think everyone involved can head home knowing they did just swell. Oh boy, he said swell. For as you know, all swell. Ah, oh, dang, swell. man! Another dad joke? Ugh! Yes, exactly. Still, I find this a rather grave turn of events. To think the same bandits who attacked our charges were behind another student's abduction. Hmm? I never said I was kidnapped by bandits. I, I get that a lot. You... you didn't? Now that I think on it, not everyone in that fortress was dressed like a common rogue. Perhaps the bandits the were mere screaming. decoys while some other villain pulled strings behind. Yeah, there was one real piece of work. Kranya, I think, who managed to escape. I've seen all kinds of people as a mercenary, and she was definitely not your everyday bandit. You're on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me, seeing as I already know. What? Why didn't you mention this earlier? Everyone was busy speculating, so it was difficult to cut in. What do you know, child? Out with it. Her Highness can vouch for this, but my memory is quite strong. Try Remarkable. You never forget a face, even one seen only at a glance. Your Highness, I... um... Thank you for the compliment. Oh, she's blushing. How cute. <clears throat> I'm certain of what I saw. The one who kidnapped me was surely Tomas the Librarian. Tomas? Impossible! But Tomas has been at Garrick Mach even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but based on what you say, we've no choice but to investigate. But, Sir Alois... Be on guard. If Tomas is in league with Kranya, he is dangerous. Very well. I will quietly report the matter to Lady Rhea and leave the decision in her hands. Not a word of this to anyone. Is that clear? Well, now things are getting interesting. Honestly, did not see this coming. So what do you make of this Kranya? Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seem preoccupied with her during the battle. Is she a friend of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't know. My memory is but a shadow at this point. Gone! Vanished! Lost! I remember meeting you, but before that, nothing at all. And yet, the moment I saw her, I was struck with the most inexplicable feeling. I couldn't tell you if it was revulsion or affection. It was simply pure emotion. And here I thought I had a tough... Are you worried about me? How adorable! Oh, but I do love that about you. And so, the Archbishop has elected to apprehend Tomas. He has been away from Garrig Mach for days now. During his absence, an investigation of his behavior and personal effects laid bare his hostility to the Church. The Knights have been instructed to await his return and take him in. As quietly as possible, of course. We want him alive, so we might discover the whereabouts of his associates. Kinky. I'm glad they actually believed me. What a... 
If they doubted you, you would have known it the moment they clapped you in irons and led you away. So who is this Tomas guy anyway? You say he works in the library? He does. I've lost track of how many times I've spoken to the man. No surprise, Lin. You practically live at the library. Um, so what did he look like again? Is he the big, burly one? Burly? Not even close. He's a frail old man with a walking stick. From what I understand, he's been at Garrick Mach for 40 years, at least. It is hard to imagine that he had been plotting evil that whole time. I wonder what led to his transformation. Transformation? Would someone not be noticing if Tomas changed his appearance? He meant a mental transformation, not a physical one. Tomas must have changed his mind about the church at some point. I am excited to have learning of this strange new expression. I must be thanking you. If they were really worried about transformations, you'd expect they would turn their gaze to you. Good to know they're nice enough not to do so. So, this Tomas person sent the bandits after us? What an awful man. We're lucky to be alive. You're one to talk, Bernadetta. You weren't even there. Yes. You were not having reason to fear for your continued living. You're right! Everyone, pipe down! Something's happening outside. Are they ready at the gates? Yes, sir. Every exit is covered. Well, well. It sounds like Tomas has returned. I don't know why I know this, but you need to get out there, and quickly. I think Tomas is here. I... Uh... Wait, we should discuss this... That man down there. Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. Hmm. This doddering persona of mine will benefit me no further. What is this? Vermin, you will pay for this. Find him! Right! What he did was just like... Magic. Prologue. Prologue. Shadows. The Shadows of Adrestia. Neat! Upon his return to Garrig Mach, the humble Tomas shapeshifts and flees, and not even the Knights of Ceres' most concerted efforts can track down the erstwhile librarian. Meanwhile, Edelgard seizes upon Monica's rescue as a chance to start down a radically different path than she had originally planned. Things went like clockwork with Monica. Thanks to Professor Yuritsa playing his part so ably. And equally to those arrogant fools for letting their guards down. I doubt we will see such fortune next time. Next time? Oh, don't tell me. The moment has come to take matters into our own hands at the Imperial Capital. This is our chance to finally be rid of them. But Lady Edelgard... We aren't ready. We'll need an entire host to keep them in check. And we have one. The Church. Forgive my impertinence, but that is not the plan. You are the man who once told me to leave no sword in its scabbard. Yes, but one must also take care not to wound themselves when unsheathing it. I'm sorry, my lady, but this plan is ill-advised. I cannot support it. And even if I were to ignore common sense and go along, it still throws our future plans into disarray. 
I thought you devised countermeasures to deal with the church. Use them. But those were meant for... Very well. Ellen, well, where are you are two you plotting? Are absolutely certain this is the path? I am anything but certain. Yet the bandit attack in the mountains created an opportunity we cannot ignore. And I doubt the appearance of this new mercenary is simple coincidence. Plans can be rewritten, Hubert. Either we're doing this, or we're not. Will you sit around and wait for a miracle? Or will you help me seize control of my fate? It's the purple eyes, man, that make you crazy! I am with you, Lady Adel God. As if, then let us walk forward on this path and see where it takes us. I apologize for bringing this to you on such short notice, Archbishop. Not at all, Edelgard. But might I ask, what prompted this sudden desire to return to Inbar? We believe one of Tomas's collaborators may have infiltrated the capital. My word! Tomas tended the library at Gehrig Mach for decades, with nary a blemish on his record. And then, without warning, he drops his disguise and reveals himself to be a vile sorcerer of terrible ability. Someone at the capital also fits that pattern. A man we know all too well. And who might that be? My uncle, and regent of the Empire, Bokard von Arendel. His lordship briefly defected from the Empire before reappearing several years later. But he returned a changed man, and began seizing power almost immediately. Witnesses claim he wields dark magic in secret, and is able to change his appearance at will. That does sound suspicious, if these witnesses can be believed. I would ask that you do believe them. As the information comes from my own house, Vestra. I see. And when you return to the capital, how do you propose to deal with this uncle of yours? Lord Arendelle has the support of a number of influential nobles, including the Prime Minister, Duke Eyre. And while we have allies of our own, it's likely they'll require some convincing. To that end, we wish to bring our friends here at the Academy, their daughters and sons, with us under the supervision of Professor Yuritsa. We hoped you would consider deploying the Knights of Seros, so the Imperial Army doesn't get any strange ideas. You wish to march on the Empire, with the Church's Knights at your back? Your support would give credence to our claims. Additionally, the Knights would keep the populace in check upon our arrival, thereby preventing the city from descending into utter chaos. The more I hear of this, the more credible the threat sounds. It's clear you have thought carefully and planned well. We intend to seize the palace with our own forces, and we'll do our utmost to contain the conflict there. But we still need your help. Please. I have two conditions. The first, when you capture Lord Arundel, he is to be turned over to the knights at once. The second, our knights are not to engage in battle directly. I would have it no other way. Step lightly, Edelgard. Should these claims about Lord Arundel prove false, we will take action accordingly. Make no mistake as to who will be held accountable. Understood. But please know we have nothing to gain from deceiving the Church. Very well. I will summon the Knights and let you instruct them as to your plan. May the Goddess watch over you all. Well, that was certainly an unexpected conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. Thanks to his shapeshifting ability, he slipped free of the knights and escaped. Shapeshifting? Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Are you in league with him, Arval? Where do these powers come from? If I am in league with him, no one has informed me. All I have is you, my dear partner in destiny. Still, I saw what you saw. 
Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shapeshifting. Now that everyone knows about Tomas, some of them must have connected the dots back to me. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. It's because they trust you. Hold on, someone's coming. Hello? Ah, there you are. Something wrong? I must return to the Imperial Capital soon for an important matter. Will you join me? M What's this about? I fear I must keep that to myself until we're closer to the capital. But I promise you this. There will be- Are you sure? Are like the ones Tomas used? Yes, that is a bit disquieting. Still, you've, you could have wrested yourself free of us from the start. But instead, you, ch you fought by our side and helped us save Monica. I think I can give you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe I'm in it for the long con. But here's my true proposal. If you accompany us, there's a good chance you'll learn where your powers come from. Ooh, now that is intriguing. In that case, I accept. Thank you. Uh, choose allies. Monica. Honk. Monica. Temporary parted ways with Ferdinand. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is a good stopping point. This has been a story time slog fast. Uh, we will pick it up next Saturday. Maybe we'll try something a little different. Maybe a little multiplayer mayhem of some sort. I haven't figured out what we're doing yet. But with that, we will go from there. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next week.